What's up guys, today my friends from the Austrian military invited me here to the mechanized units, the mechanized infantry, Battalion 35. Good morning, Mr. Lovrich. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good. I'm excited. Let's, Let's go. Get it done. We're about to get the briefing for today's mission theory. So let's go. So we see here the bestimmungen of SPZ Olan. Then we have a suit, an outside, we come in the building, and we watch it. Today's video, we're gonna have a look at that Ulan tank, and we're gonna see how fast it can go in this terrain right here. with Captain Smith, he's gonna give us a quick rundown, some of the data, how fast can it drive, how far can it shoot, and then we're also gonna have a look on the inside. So, can you give us some data? Yeah, of course. Standing in front of the infantry fighting vehicle Ulan, it's the fighting vehicle of the Austrian mechanized infantry, with uh, 28.5 tons, 521 horsepower, so that um, the tank can go anywhere where it goes. Uh, it can go up to 72 kilometers per hour. So that's 72 kilometers at around 30 tons. Correct. That's a lot. That's a lot of energy right there. What's this small start over here? So this would be the, the coaxial machine gun, which is yeah. uh, completely stabilized as the turret and the, the machine cannon also is stabilized. Yeah. So it's interesting to see with the stabilization when the tank goes through the terrain, you know, really harsh terrain, hill up, down. The cannon always stays on the same spot. It's kind of like a camera gimbal, but you know, way more advanced. The cannon stays the same place. We've seen it in a video before on the Leo part where the GoPro was mounted to it. Goes through the terrain, GoPro stays always in the same spot, which means that it can take accurate shots even if you're driving through harsh terrain. Uh, what about the cannon? What can it do? This is a MK2 Mauser, machine cannon number two. It can um, shoot a 30 millimeter bullets rounds. So uh, we have three types of ammunition, KE, kinetic energy, high explosive ammunition. Yeah. So for example, if you're fighting against uh, very, very soft targets, like okay. cars Humans. or, yeah. or, or um, uh, persons. So the explosive ammunition, is it first penetrating the target and then exploding behind it, or it just explodes on impact? No, it's correct. It's, it's penetrating the target first, yeah. and then about 20 to 30 centimeters after the penetration, yeah. the explosion takes place. As you said, vision-wise, the tank can't really see much, right? You only have those... Those, how many do you have of those? I can see four here on top. There we go. So this is the position for the commander. Mm -hmm. For real, the commander also always has the possibility to drive with open hatch and view through binoculars or view through direct. <coughs> if you face in combat situation, he has to get the hatch closed. As you as mentioned, here's the commander and on this side you will have the gunner. It, it, its main purpose is to shoot with the gun and the, the commander is usually commanding the tank. What about this one? And because, as we mentioned before, we have uh, we, we we transport Panzer Grenadiers, with mechanized infantry, and uh, we will go deeper inside and look at this. But this is the the hatch of the infantry commander. Uh. Now inside the Ulan, uh, there's a ton of equipment. I don't even know where to start. Can we maybe run down from top to bottom? <laughs> yeah, we try to. Okay. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, as mentioned, inside the Alain, it's very, very narrow. Mm. So it's no hotel room, it's really very narrow. Yeah. It has to suit up to seven infantry soldiers. The, the holding mount, yeah. for the um, anti-tank rifle, yeah. so it's kind of an RPG. Mm -hmm. And this is the holding for the machine yeah. gun. You can actually see here the, the shape of the buttstock of the machine gun. So I guess buttstock goes here, barrel gets clamped in here. Correct. Which has to be mounted good because this thing is firing all kinds of directions when it's driving, otherwise it would probably kill the crew in here. That's correct, but that's oh, not yeah. the main part of it. Yeah. Because everything that can fly around can get a bullet if we get hit. Yeah. For if we get hit, 
everything uh, accelerates. So everything that is not tightened up can be deadly to you. Oh, okay, so if the projectile hits you, the whole tank will move so abrupt that everything in here is just going to fly around. Correct. Oh, okay. Uh, but as I mentioned before, the vision is very, very narrow and very, very tight. Mm -hmm. But there can be situations where the enemy might be st standing right in the back of your tank. Yeah. So what you do? It's easy. You open the hatch here, you look out, see, okay, there's someone there. And now you use this bolt, you can stick your gun through it. And now you're able to fire against the enemy and to shoot it. And it's stabilized too. Okay, right now I'm at the position of the gunner, right? Correct. And you're at the position of the commander. Correct. What's, what, which instruments do you have here? Yes. So, the gunner and the commander share some instruments. For example, the main instrument here, which uh, loads the gun and unloads the gun, mm -hmm. and as well for the computer with the drift compensation and to get stabilized with the gun and the turret. Yeah. So this is usually operated by the gunner, but can also be operated by the commander. So a huge difference I can see from the Leopard to the Ulan is that there's no loader. There's nobody taking the rounds, shoving it into the barrel. Yeah. All right, it opens. So I take a round. Yeah, 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 it's got here the lock. It can come a little bit to you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay, then I yeah. drop it into the barrel. That's correct, because it's a machine cannon, so it uh, works automatic, yeah. to, a, to a machine gun. You, you have your compartments for the ammunition on this side, and as well on this side. Mm -hmm. We can take a look inside. So. so as you can see here, the ammunition goes via a track. Uh, so you have the, to with the track, maybe the camera can see this? Here's the track where the rounds get transported into the machine cannon. So from here to over there, right into the cannon. Into exactly, the right into the cannon. It feels even more packed than the Leopard, there's less space, at least that's how I remember it. Um, tons of instruments, tons of buttons. It's not as easy as I thought. I thought that, you know, they develop it in a way that it's easy to operate, but you definitely need to get a ton of training in order to operate this entire thing. All right, that was the video of the infantry fighting vehicle Ulan. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.